Hey everyone, my name is Harris. It's almost three o'clock in the morning, so I figured why not make a YouTube channel. So welcome to Harris Helps, and today we're gonna to be learning how to draw peptides. So let's choose some amino acids. Uh, let's do serine, let's do tyrosine, and let's do one with the charge, let's do lysine, okay. And we're gonna do this at a neutral pH. So for every single amino acid we have, what I like to do is write out NCC for each of them. So we're going to do that three times since we have three of them. So NCC, NCC, NCC. All right. Next thing you're going to want to do is identify the NC terminuses. So on the left is going to be the N. So H3N plus. And then on the right is the C, the carboxylic acid. And make sure you guys include the charges. Don't forget that. After that, the carbon that's followed after the N, these three right here, these are the alpha carbons. So these three carbons are going to hold the side chains. So let's do serine, so CH2OH. And then this one's going to be tyrosine, so CH2. You're going to have an aromatic ring. And then you're going to have an alcohol. And then this one is lysine, so lysine, four carbons. One, two, three, four, and then H three N plus. One tip I like to remember to remember lysine has four carbons is lysine. If you write it out, it looks like a four. So that's how I remember it has four carbons. And make sure that for these alpha carbons, they also have a hydrogen on top. This isn't necessary, but depending on how nitpicky your professor is, it doesn't hurt to include it. So we have the NNC terminuses, we have the side chains, we have the hydrogens. All that we're missing for the peptides now is the actual peptide bond. So how exactly do we draw that? So after the alpha carbon, we still have the pi bond with the O, but right here is where we would have, would have the carboxylic acid with the O, o minus. But in order to make these peptide bonds, it has to go under dehydration to form H2O. So Instead of having three H's for the end, you're just going to have one. So it's going to look something like this. And then same thing for the next one. You're going to have the pi bond and then an H. And if you'd like me to highlight it, this right here is the peptide bond. All right, the last question is, what's the charge of this uh, tripeptide? Let's see. We have plus one, we have plus two, and then we have minus one. So two minus one, it's going to have a charge of plus one. So I just said it was a tripeptide. Um, just a rule of thumb, in case you guys need to know, anything that's less than 20 is called an oligopeptide. And then anything that has 20 or more amino acids is called a polypeptide. So yeah, that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, you can either comment them below or you can just email it to me directly. Uh, my email is going to be in the description. I hope you guys learned something and until next time.